Hey Techies, Anthony from Hashesnet here, and today we're going to build the Arcade 1-Up Mortal Kombat 2 Classic Game Cabinet. And uh, as you see here is the box. It is a big boy. For anybody who's familiar with my space here, um, and clear out the back space here. Uh, this shelving unit is actually going to get replaced with this cabinet. And I'm going to move some of this stuff over to make this fit uh, because it's, uh, it's a little over a foot and a half wide, maybe two feet. And this uh, shelf here is like a foot and, you know, two inches or something like that. So because otherwise it would like kind of rub up against the side of the air conditioner. And I don't want it to do that. So um, we'll see what I can get away with. But uh, we are going to build this and uh, there will be a live video of my build. Uh, that you could watch on our live channel and uh, the link will be in the description and essentially you'll, you'll see it built in real time. I don't know how long it's going to take. I've never built one of these before. Uh, my brother Chris, he said he has one from about five years ago. He loves the thing. And so um, this is what made me decide to go ahead and get this. So we're going to break this up into parts and I will come back uh, to each step uh, for this particular video. Uh, next up, we'll be laying out the parts and uh, talking about what we're seeing here. And then we'll just skip ahead to the finished product. Again, if you want to see the whole process, uh, you will want to check out the live video. Okay, so here is the side panels, the front piece, the back panel. Uh, so it's all real nice there. Um, weirdly, like um, old style graphics, I was hoping a little updated. I mean, look at the Raiden's teeth. That is, uh, that is weird. Um, of course, the instruction manual, and uh, and then here are the parts uh, sorted out according to the instruction manual. Instruction screwdriver. Inside this bag is actually like the um, what is this? The um, joysticks, the power brick. Uh, if I wanted to fasten it to a wall in case I have, a, you know, I, we don't have very many strong earthquakes here, so I'm not only worried about that part, but these are used for that. So that, that's pretty neat. And then, of course, the actual individual pieces, like these wooden bits, uh, a bunch of long screws, short screws. Um, I'm not quite sure where those are. I, you know, I've looked through the pages, but uh, not quite sure where thing is. Obviously, these are for corner mounting. And then um, these are probably heavy duty panels for like mounting the monitor. Um, I'm going to assume the monitors in one of these two boxes here. And uh, the, the, one of them is fairly light. One of them is a little heavier, but uh, we will see. What came in the bag, of course, was um, the, uh, the initial setup for once we get it built. So we have something like that. Uh, we got an owner's manual. Uh, we also got a uh, basically instructions how to use the app. So there's a whole app thing, which I guess I'll download at some point. And because I guess if you do the online stuff, you get the extended warranty, whatever. So, you know, that, and of course there's the regular, you know, warranty, whatever. And, and then the various multi-language stuff, but the English stuff is segmented off the German, Spanish, etc., French, you know. So uh, I guess uh, continue to build this. Again, if you want to see it, Check out the live stream. And while I'm saying this is different, the time is about a half hour since I recorded the first segment. You know, it's it's going to probably be a while before I get to the next segment of this video with the completed cabinet. So wish me luck. Okay, I lied. I actually did not realize how much more there was in these boxes. So I ended up tearing down further. You see a lot of new panels. Uh, it's just... Uh, a whole lot going on there. Then, of course, this lump here is the monitor setup. Then we have the joystick controls, some additional panels, some are rails. Here's a marquee. And um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a lot more than I anticipated. I, I mean, the instructions are fairly clear, so hopefully I can handle all of that. But uh, it is tearing up my floor, that's for sure. You see that nice big gap there. I ended up pulling a couple pieces of um, tile off. I'm like, well, crap. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it said it was 65 pounds, which isn't too bad. It's just, uh, hopefully I'm not damaging anything in, in, you know, cause I think the damage to my floor is from the box, but we'll come back and, and hopefully I'm further along in the process. It's been over two hours. It's finally done. 
Here is it from the front. Now, I thought I probably would have to get the risers to actually set it to play, but it's actually perfectly heighted. So it's it's great. Saving me about 60 bucks there. And as we go around, we can take a look at the side here. And it's spectacular. Around the other side. Great. And then here's the back. Spectacular. Uh, things that I want to know. The marquee does not light up. So if you want it to light up, you have to add it yourself. Uh, other thing, there's a plastic coating on here on both sides. This is clear plastic, but I can't... I, I have fingernails. I don't want to use, like, scissors or anything. And there's bubbles. I can clearly tell there's bubbles. Um... They don't leave a tab or something you can use to peel it off, and that would be super useful, and that's really what they should have done here. But for the sake of not wanting to spend too much time on trying to peel the thing off, I just left it on. Other note, so you, there's covering on here to protect the screen, and as you see here, there is like plastic. I, I obviously can't get it off because, of course, it's stuck in between the screen and the... Um, this sound speakers actually right here. Uh, and you see this, you might see it as fingerprints because obviously I have to like work on it. Now there's these little screws here that also have the same problem. Uh, so they have a little bit of it on there and fingerprints. Uh, but the only other plus side is the, the three screws that are down here. They're covered by this. So you don't see them. And I think they really, you know, maybe reduce the area and then avoid these when putting the coating on it, because I really think that would solve that particular problem. So, with that said, uh, there are, and I was hoping there was, but there is no, like, controller port on here. So that way you can hook up a USB controller. I really was hoping for that. Um, but on the back, there is the power, there, there's a whole box of controls everything. Uh, power cord plugs into it. You can plug an Ethernet cord in if you wanted. Otherwise, it's Wi-Fi. There's an antenna and everything. Also, the connector for this um, keyboard, or keyboard, jo joystick, but what are, I forget what they call this now. Control module, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, it's fairly simple, straightforward setup once you've got everything put together. And um, other than that, I mean, let's take a look at the screen here. Hi, me. And um, I want to turn it on, so here we go. Now, when I turned it on initially, it did have an update. So keep in mind that you might have an update after you set up your Wi-Fi because it'll literally get you in there, ask you to set up your Wi-Fi, and then do an update. The volume has 15 levels. I'm going to turn this down to four, or maybe one, maybe two. It's, it's actually decent on like, the stereo speakers. It is fantastic. And as you see, it says Mortal Kombat 2, but now, of course, that's the featured game, but you get all the Mortal Kombat's. As you see here, and uh, yeah, so you just you want the app, you can do this. I do not. Yeah, great. Now I have already set up the Wi-Fi here, uh, so you know, uh, hopefully I remember to blur off that app thing because I think that's unique to my system. But um, you can um, select the games, but you can also do their settings. Uh, any button works to approve it, basically. And um, to go to the previous menu, you just go back to hide this thing here. The one thing I do like is if we go to here, both Ultimate Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat allows you to unlock the hidden characters. So no cheat code needed. Uh, but uh, so Mortal Kombat, Ultimate, uh, what was it? Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 2, Mortal Kombat 3, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3, Paper Boy, uh, Rampage, uh, Root Beer Tapper. I think it was just called Tapper before or something. I don't know. Um, Tubin, Wizard of War, Bubbles, uh, Defender, Gauntlet, Joust, and Clax. And as you see, <laughs> fun name there. Uh, there are actually some games uh, going, and I'm like, Joust? Wow, they're look, because I think Joust is a four player game? Or no, Gauntlet, as you say. Defender, that's a classic game. It was one of the first games I ever owned. Although there is apparently no filter on certain languages, like certain things kind of get through. Uh, I, I would technically. He's using the Roman letter for you, but, you know, but then, you know, rotates back over to here. Over on the top here, so this is the live button. This gives you the internet setup feature. 
Uh, this is just a typical start button. You know, you want to enter your control. You want you want the game to know you are available. You have a second player. You want to know that they were available. Um, and then, of course, the punch, kick, you know, etc. Buttons. Um, I think this is run. So this is as low punch, high punch, uh, block, high kick, low kick, and then yeah, this would be run for like Mortal Kombat three. Same thing on the other side. And um, so let's just hit the live button, and um, you can set uh, your social options, and then there's network settings and uh, account settings. I also recently played favorites, block lists, and then you can go back. Uh, you're probably asking why I'm not showing you the other two lists because I have private information on here you don't need. Uh, and of course, it does show you the firmware version. I updated the, the March 1st to 2024 version, so we are up to date. And that's really all there is to this, but uh, it's so fantastic. Um, once you get it together, it's actually super sturdy. My only other couple of notes is when you put the screws in, in some cases, it feels like they're just stripping. Um, not on the head itself, but inside on the plywood. Because, I mean, this obviously isn't, like, this is compressed wood. Let's, get, let's face it. So, um, I mean, other than that, yeah, it's it's fantastic. It's a, a great setup here. And then, again, to turn it off, just hold down the button there, and it will turn off. And that's pretty much it for this cabinet. Here's the front end telling you all the games on it. Um, three hundred dollars, yes, worth it. Um, would I go off and spend the five hundred fifty for? No. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.